Flat Earthers now think Earth is a big donut. If you've always been one of those flat earthers who didn't quite buy into the pizza-shaped theory of the planet, here's an idea you can sink your sweet tooth into. The Earth is actually one big old Dunkin' Donut. According to Lad Bible, a flat earther with a username Varog back in 2012 posed this gem to the Flat Earth Society. I have a theory that the Earth is in fact shaped like a torus, a donut shape. However, light is curved, so we cannot tell. He then compiled a list of answers for 11 frequently asked questions his Krispy Kreme theory was likely to encounter. Here are some of the best ones. Why hasn't the donut hole been discovered? Light bends and follows the curvature of the torus, making the hole unseeable. How does light curve? Radio waves are reflected by the atmosphere and apparently on Taurus Earth, so is light. The farther light travels, the more it curves. By the time it reaches the atmosphere, it can be reflected. As light travels around the corners of the atmosphere, it curves every time, so that's why the Earth looks flat. When you're standing in the middle of a donut and look up, why don't you see the other side of the donut? Well, dummy. As light passes through the first atmosphere, by the time it reaches the second atmosphere, it's diminished enough to be reflected into space, so you see space. He also goes on to explain how night and day occur, why we have seasons, and a whole lot more. Want the truth? Keep watching. Flat Earthers finally figure out why you can't fall off the edge. Not. The idiots of the world came together at the Flat Earth Convention in England last weekend and let loose a torrent of insanity. Wild conspiracy theories thrown about range from pseudoscientific to magical to just plain bizarre. One speaker concluded gravity doesn't exist after spending a year tracking moon movements in his backyard with a camera and phone app. How cutting edge. Musician Darren Nesbitt hypothesized that the Earth is shaped like a diamond and held up by pillars. Though his most WTF theory by far has to do with a question that continues to stump flat earthers. How have people not fallen off the edge? According to Nesbitt, it's just like Pac-Man. Once you reach one end of the Earth, space-time wraps around, as it does, and teleports you to the opposite end, same as what happens to the video game characters. Oh, honey, you at least get props for creativity. Flat Earth Rocket Launch Postponed Everyone knows the Earth is flat. Just ask Kyrie Irving or B.O.B. So why are people still wasting time trying to prove it? Limo driver Mike Hughes was originally planning to launch himself in a homemade steam-powered rocket 1,800 feet up over the Mojave Desert at 500 miles per hour to take some snaps to prove the Earth is flat. After being shot down by the government, Hughes says the event will now take place on private property, three miles down the road. That's a relief. Sure, Hughes only recently hopped on the Flat Earth train after he curiously couldn't raise enough funds for his Kickstarter campaign, but that's unimportant. He spent the last few years building his rocket out of salvaged parts from his garage. It's costed 20,000 bucks so far, so money well spent? Unfortunately, the launch won't be open to the public, but don't despair, it will be available online for a price. Hey, Flat Earthers gotta eat too. Flat Earther still planning to launch an homemade rocket. Remember Mad Mike Hughes? Of course not. Why would you? Mike thinks the Earth is flat and made a rocket to prove it. The plan was to shoot himself high enough to see that the Earth is just a disk last November, but paperwork and mechanical failures stopped the launch from happening. Mike went back to the drawing board and redesigned his rocket and now says he's good to go on February 3rd. The plan is to fly straight up for a third of a mile and then let gravity take over. Hold on. Gravity? Is that even a thing? Hughes eventually says he wants to shoot himself up 52 miles in the air by this year's end to see for himself the shape of the Earth. He says it'll cost him $2 million for the hot air balloon, rocket pack, and spacesuit to get him to his vantage point. Maybe Mike should hit up Kyrie Irving or JJ I Don't Believe in Dinosaurs Reddick for the cash. Tired of hearing flat earther theories? Hit them with one of these next time they question Earth's shape. The Earth's spherical shape can be easily observed by the shadow it casts on the Moon's equally round surface. The shadow is always curved at point during the lunar phases. Earth's round edges can also be seen in the horizon. Objects nearing it seem to appear and disappear depending on the direction they are moving. 
we can see this effect when we observe ships in the ocean. If we were to see the horizon from above, we would also be able to see Earth's surface curve at the edges. The Earth's circular form also determines the time zone differences we experience. Time zones are a result of Earth's rotation on its axis. Its spherical shape allows for this when one side is exposed to sunlight while the other side remains dark. This would not be possible over a flat surface. We can also observe the properties of other planets in our solar system. According to Futurism, planets' spherical shapes allow for an equal distribution of gravity. If Earth were a disk-like body, its gravity would pull us at different degrees depending on where we stand. Gravity cannot be distributed evenly on non-spherical surfaces. Disclaimer: We can't promise these facts will convince flat earthers, but hey, it's worth a shot, right? Well, he finally did it. Flat earther Mike Matt Hughes finally blasted off in his homemade rocket. Also, the Earth still isn't flat. The former limo driver spent years building the steam-powered rocket out of salvaged garage parts and meant to launch it last November. But the 61-year-old had to redesign his baby after big government stepped in. Between that and technical trouble, the launch date had to be forced back. Saturday seemed like it would be another failure, but Hughes was sick of hearing people saying he'd chicken out. Actually, it was still a huge failure. So he blasted himself 1,875 feet above the Mojave Desert. Minutes later, two parachutes helped the rocket land with a thud some 1,500 feet from the launch site. Its front was broken in two places, but the man inside came out in one piece. Mike still thinks he needs to just get higher to prove the Earth is flat. He's got good brains. So stay tuned, or not.